I have no idea how to do this review today. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy D, and I got another review for you. This week is the movie Harriet, which is the biopic about Harriet Tubman. I did a reaction trailer for this uh, a few months ago, and I was really hyped to see this movie. I love seeing stuff about uh, black history and about the culture, and I figured that this had like, like had a good budget. It was going to be a really interesting story. Don't get me wrong. The movie is good, but it's also, for lack of a better word, lacking. Uh, the main thing that I liked about this is is it gave me a little bit of insight into more of the pre before she became Harriet Tubman and what happened actually after she actually got free and led up to it. Um, when the action is happening, when she's freeing slaves and running and they got the music in the background, it's really good, a really interesting movie. Where it kind of lacks is that while I did like the fact we got to learn more about her family life, it focused way too much on that after. Um, a lot of the movie is more about her story of uh, freeing her family and about her family and uh, how her slave master uh, came after her and wanted to bring her back. And it kind of made this, antag this um, antagonist that I don't feel the movie actually really needed. You had slavery there in the background. You had slave traders. You had slave hunters. You had that whole thing there. Uh, most of us knew what she did. And then they kind of almost gloss over the fact that she freed so many and how her name became Harriet Tubman or Moses or any of that information, how they used the the uh, the Negro uh, hymnals to lead people down to the water and how they came up with these ideas. I would have loved to have seen more about that. I would have actually loved to have seen her go to other plantations besides her families to free other people, how she got back and forth, how she made connections with other people on the Underground Railroad. They kind of just gloss over this to focus more on this 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 antagonist that I don't feel the movie needed at all. Um, other than, and then some of the performances were a little lacking, uh, and it just it just kind of dealt with identity crisis at times. There was a lot that I felt they could have done more at the end of the movie, especially that when she became a general and one of the first females, uh, black people, women to lead a uh, army troop into a base. That would have been a great moment to see and they kind of just set it up and then you had the after of it. So it seemed like they had the idea of doing this Harriet Tubman movie, but they might not have had the budget to pull off some of the stuff they wanted to. So they kind of just set it up and it's like, well, it's history, you know what happened. I'm like, I want to see this. I would like to, I'd like to have seen that. Um, I hope that this does have more movies like this. I would love to see a Frederick Douglass movie or a Booker T. Washington movie about their lives. These are movies I think are far, far overdue and we should have had a long, long time ago. If you are a history buff, this might not be the movie for you. There's not, if you know most about the Civil War, you'll be fine. If you're just going to see a nice story um, about a character and about Harriet Tubman, this is okay. Another thing, they kind of make her into a superhero in this. Yeah, that was another gripe I had. They give her this power. Uh, she can kind of hear God. And that's how she was always able to go past and get around um, all the people that were trying to hunt her down, all that, uh, you know. And I'm, I was kind of like, y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all could just make that she was, you know, smart and she knew how to track or not knew how to track, but knew how, she had friends that were trackers. She kind of figured out the way of getting around. There was a lot I heard about Harriet that wasn't even in this, like the time she had a newspaper and she got caught and she didn't know how to read. So she could have been caught, but she had the newspaper. Luckily she had it right side up. That would have been a good scene to have in this movie. More like that would have drawn me into the movie more. So as it went along, I was kind of wondering like, where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? And then the second, like the first 30 minutes is more set up of her life. And then the last half, I was kind of just left wanting. I wanted a little bit more. So I hope that this does start people wanting to see more movies like this. And I hope it did well. Well, I think it did pretty well um, that we get more movies like this because it's a very entertaining movie. I, I just had my own little minor gripes, gripes with it, but it still didn't take away from the fact that it was a good movie and everyone should go check it out to make their own assumptions of the story and what they take from it and what they would have liked to have seen in it. Uh, that's going to do it for me, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.